with a gang, yo, TBD came back in the code with another reaction. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. So listen, fam, if you can't hear her, obviously, bro, I've been out for a couple days. I've been sick. I ain't gonna hold y'all, but shit, we back. Um, we got another video that y'all wanted me to react to, so we're about to get a short um, history of slavery. So I'm not gonna hold y'all, bro. I'm super excited to react to this just for the simple fact me and OTB uh, begin reacting to that Thomas Soul video um, a few months back about um, the history of slavery, what they don't teach you in school. And I was introduced to a lot of facts that I wasn't taught coming up. So I'm super excited to react to this. And on top of that, this is by uh, Candace Owens. I fuck with Candace Owens. Uh, she be giving out some good perspectives. Now, I ain't gonna say I agree with everything she says all the time, uh, but she be saying some real shit half the time. So we're gonna tap in. And now for a brief history of slavery. Here's the first thing you need to know. Slavery was not invented by white people. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the new world. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia. So, bro, when we reacted to that Thomas Soul video, like, when I got out of that, bro, it was like, slavery, like, the way, it, like, the origin of slavery, bro, it wasn't depicted off of color, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't based off, you know, if you're black, we're going to slave you, you know, if you're from here, we're going to slave you. It wasn't like that. It was basically people preying on the poor. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a color thing. It was a, a strong versus weak, you know what I'm saying, type of thing. And the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Millions of them, all white, by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the ninth century and later by the Ottoman Turks. Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the first through the fifth centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. It was so common. We knew that though, bro, like Persia. I know y'all seen 300. I know y'all seen 300. But bro, like, I feel like, like slavery has been around like, bro, forever. Slavery still exists today, bro. Like there's still slavery going on today in other countries. But I feel like the reason why like black people, African-Americans, like, I just feel like the African-American slave trade was like the biggest one, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's why it kind of gets, why it overshadows the other stuff, but yeah, bro, this is crazy. And that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce. As much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. One third of the fucking world was enslaved? Bro, like, that's crazy. Like, I'm not gonna hold, like, in school, like, we were talking about slavery, but we were talking about, like, the African slave trade, like, we weren't taught about like all the other countries unless you took like fucking AP world history. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not shit that they had in our curriculum. No cap. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. What? In 1833, Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a slavery abolition act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After centuries of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died during the Civil War. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth, and the truth is that human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. 
Yet today we are never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol or Japanese empires to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. It's a fantasy. The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Now that right there is crazy. Blacks were sold by other blacks for gin and mirrors and miscellaneous items, bro. But like here in America, we have this like the picture that slavery will stem from white people. Like that's just the way it's always been, you know, taught and brought up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the way social media puts it out there. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's good to have fucking educational videos like this that really break shit down for you, bro. That's crazy. And I told you, I watched that Thomas Soul video and he was basically saying the same shit. Like slavery has always been around. Like slavery stems, you know, from other countries. Um, it's been here way before we were here. You know what I'm saying? It didn't start with us. You feel me? So. Yeah, but this is insane. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies. See, and that's not what you're taught in school, bro. Like in school, they talk, they talk like the whites were going over there on boats, rounding up a bunch of niggas, putting them on the boat, and then bringing them back. You feel me? Not that they were being sold off from their own kind. Like stark reality. Is it after and that's why Candace Owens said there's guilt like in every every ancestry. That's why she said, uh, you know, white people aren't better than everyone else and that we all have guilt because we obviously, based off history, we've all done shit by people selling their own kind. Our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Other sources. The lowest estimate, 700,000 slaves, bro. And it's crazy because I knew slavery was like still around. It still existed in some developing countries and other parts of the world. But 700,000 people still living in slavery in Africa today? That's fucking insane, bro. Versus say there are many more. For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. What? Child soldiers human trafficking, forced labor. These are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then. And no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. But we hear almost nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage. And the race hustlers would soon be out of business. And who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. Thank you for watching. Damn, this Candace. Candace came through and dropped that knowledge, boy. That was a good ass video, bro. And like, I'll be honest with you, but I think Candace was speaking straight facts. Like, if you hear what she's saying, I see what she's saying, but she's saying it's technically ended by white people because it was ended um, in Europe first and then it was ended over here in America. So I see what she's saying there. Um, I'm I'm curious on why she didn't touch on none of like the Jim Crow laws and shit. Like that. And I know that has nothing to do with slavery. 
but I feel like she still should have touched on that because even though black people weren't being enslaved during that time, we were still being discriminated. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't you get the same water fountain? Couldn't use the same restrooms? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a bunch of shit going on back then. So, bro, I thought this was a good video. This is a very good educational video. Like, shit like this, videos like this are videos that they should play in school. You feel me? Like, there is no reason why this shit is not, should not be taught in the curriculum. Like, in the school I went to, bro, it was so focused on America. Like, you don't even learn about slavery in other countries. You just learn about how slavery got here and how it came here. You know what I'm saying? The roots of slavery here. And the way that they teach it is that basically the white people started it. You feel me? It's not taught like the way that and explained the way that Candace just explained it and broke it down for us. That shit was crazy, bro. I really want to know what y'all thought about this video. Um, I want to know what y'all thought about... Uh, Candace Owens facts, you know, I thought she was saying some real shit, um, I think there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be very upset by what she said in this video, but, bro, the facts is the facts, bro, you can't change history, and there's a lot of people that are trying to go back and rewrite history and make shit seem like, nah, bro, nah, bro, like, that's some real shit that Candace just spit, and there's still slaves today, bro, more than there's ever been, but, Bro, I just feel like everything, it's just so much propaganda, bro. Like, we always see what the media pushes, what the media wants us to see, how the media wants us to feel, you know what I'm saying? It's not, we we're never going to get just the straight facts. Like, she filed an article that said, she said the lowest estimate she can find was 700,000 slaves still living in Africa. That is fucking crazy to me, bro. That is crazy to me. And then how she showed like, the little kid carrying a gun. Like, I know that shit's real. I watched this documentary about Sierra Leone and all the kids out there had choppers, five, six years old, AK-47s, you feel me? Like, that's some real shit that she was speaking on there. And then uh, me and uh, OTBB Give reacted to a video. It was, um, oh, where were they at, bro? It was somewhere in Asia. I can't remember. But basically, bro, they were slaves, bro. They were making bricks, like, all day, every day, bro. Probably getting fucking a penny per brick working a lifelong debt off that they've been working off their whole lives. They've been working to pay off this debt. They don't know how much is remaining on the debt. They just out here fucking working, getting slaved, bro. Like, it's, this shit's crazy out here, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. Man, and then, like, I like how she, she broke it down. And she was like, yeah, she talked about the Civil War. And she was saying how there was, like... The Civil War, you know, it was the North versus the South. You know, there's fight for slavery. She was saying how there was over 300,000 people who died in the North. White men fighting for black people to have freedom. So, I mean, history's just crazy, bro. Like, you really got to dive in and think through what's bullshit, what's not bullshit. But this right here is a good video. Bro. I believe everything that Candace is saying on this, bro. I don't believe slavery started whenever fucking Columbus came over and explored this shit. I don't believe... You know, slavery started when they first... No, slavery's always been around, fam. Like, if you... I really want to lie and go watch that video. I see my Thomas Soul on the other channel, bro. Slavery has always been around. Like, it's been around in different countries. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but what we're taught is how it was brought to America. We don't we don't get taught the whole world history. The per Way back when the Persians was around, you know, slavery was around. Slavery's always been around. It was viewed as a form of commerce. You know, people own people as a form of money. Like, they would trade people for items. Like, and that's just how shit was. It's wrong. And that's why Candace said that there's, um, I can't remember specifically the word she said, but she basically said there's guilt in everybody because, you know, yeah, the, we always put it on that white people own slaves and all that, but black people were selling black people as slaves. So, I mean, it's guilt everywhere, all across the board, bro. This was a good video, bro. I feel like this video is going to piss a lot of people off. I don't really care, bro. The facts is the facts. I want to know what y'all thought about it. Y'all think Candace was telling the truth? Y'all think it was Cap? Hey, let me know what y'all think, for real, bro. She said white people were the first to put it into slavery. I don't know what you think about that statement. Let me know in the comments, bro. Make sure you like the video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Comment what you want to see next, fam. We might have to bring that Thomas Soul video back because it's been about a year since I've seen it. I can't remember everything from that video, but that video was so intellectual, bro. I think it's a video that everybody should see, no cap. And the name of the video is uh, Facts About Slavery That They Don't Teach You in School. Uh, so we might have to tap back into that. Hey, but I love each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for showing up and showing out. I'll see you on the next video. We on the road to 10K. OTBDK. We out, gang.